About 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid, roughly the size of Mount Everest, was barreling toward Earth on a cataclysmic path. Its arrival triggered an apocalyptic event that wiped out the largest and most dangerous creatures ever to walk the Earth. But the dinosaurs didn't perish in a single explosive moment. No, their end came slowly, painfully, and mercilessly. On today's video, we are getting into what exactly happened right after the dinosaurs went extinct and how this catastrophic event changed the world forever. So how did this extinction level event unleash the biggest tsunami our planet has ever seen? And what unfolded after the colossal reptiles vanished? Buckle up, this is going to be one deadly and unforgettable ride. The asteroid that sealed the dinosaurs' fate was horrifying. It measured around 10 kilometers, six miles across, and hurtled through space at speeds between 10 and 30 kilometers per second, six to 18 miles per second. At those speeds, it was a white-hot fireball blazing through the sky. As it approached Earth, it compressed the air ahead of it, creating heat intense enough to rival a furnace. Just before it hit, the asteroid's surface may have reached temperatures comparable to the sun's. As it pierced Earth's atmosphere, it took only seconds to crash into the surface and forever alter the planet's history. It struck off the coast of what we now know as Mexico, unleashing a force that sent debris shooting into the sky. The shockwave alone was enough to obliterate everything for miles, and it was just the beginning. Earth, 66 million years ago, was in for a seriously rough time. The impact blasted chunks of Earth's crust into the atmosphere. Within minutes, searing fragments of glass and rock rained back down to the surface. Some debris interacted with the atmosphere, triggering years of acid rain. Fires ignited everywhere. The resulting infernos swept across the land, consuming forests and annihilating life. And just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, they did. The shock of the asteroid strike was so enormous that it sent powerful waves rippling through the planet. That energy had to go somewhere. Cue the most colossal tsunami Earth has ever seen. This wasn't your average killer wave. Towering more than 10 meters, 33 feet high, this tsunami surged across the ocean with astonishing power. In fact, it was around 30,000 times stronger than today's biggest waves. As this aquatic monster raced across the North Atlantic and South Pacific, coastlines were annihilated. The force of the wave reshaped entire landscapes. If you had somehow been there to witness it, there's zero chance you would have made it out alive. But not all dinosaurs died instantly. Some species far from the blast zone survived the initial impact. They weren't fried in firestorms or swept away by the mega tsunami, yet their survival was short-lived. As the sky darkened and the dust began to settle, Earth entered a deadly new phase, what scientists call an impact winter. While there were no nuclear weapons involved, the aftermath resembled nuclear fallout. Debris thickened the skies, blocking sunlight for months or even years. Temperatures dropped fast, plants couldn't photosynthesize. As vegetation died off, herbivores starved and predators soon followed. The acid rain continued for years, further decimating what little life was left. Oceans became so acidic that marine creatures struggled to survive. Evolution didn't have time to keep up with the chaos. In the end, this relentless series of catastrophes wiped out around 75% of all life on Earth. The only silver lining, Tyrannosaurus rex didn't make it. I mean, we kind of feel bad for the guy. But let's be honest, we're also kind of relieved he's not crashing around our backyards. When the final dinosaurs fell, Earth was left barren and broken, cold, dark, and poisoned. So when did life bounce back? Well, not quite in the way you'd think. Earth didn't recover from the asteroid. It transformed. About a thousand years later, our planet began to emerge from its prolonged winter. Conditions were still harsh. Food was scarce. But nature was ready to take another shot. A few small, furry mammals started darting across the forests. Among the first plants to come back, ferns. They grew quickly and spread fast, giving life a small but meaningful second chance. Fast forward 100,000 years, and Earth was noticeably more lively. Mammal-like creatures about the size of raccoons began to flourish. Oceans, once acidic and lifeless, began to pulse with new marine life. And over the next 10 million years, life didn't just bounce back. It evolved in totally new directions. The age of dinosaurs was over. The era of mammals had begun, and mammals were thriving. No, not literally on fire, but evolutionarily speaking, they were crushing it. Alongside birds and flowering plants, mammals took over the Earth. And though the old world was gone, this new one was teeming with bizarre and terrifying creatures of its own. Take Paraceratherium, a giant hornless rhino the size of a house, or Megalodon, 
the massive prehistoric shark that made today's great whites look like goldfish. Let's be honest, you wouldn't want to cross paths with that while swimming. Even though those beasts are gone, our current Earth is far from problem-free. Ecosystems are breaking down, pollution is rising, climate change is accelerating, but unlike the dinosaurs, we can do something about it. 